Hey everybody, Drinking Texas back again down from Alvin, Texas in the Super 8 Motel. Now you can tell this is night two because, oh yeah, we're wearing different shirts. And you'll see these shirts probably in a couple other episodes as well. So, but uh, today we went to a bigger specs down in, uh, what was the name of that town? Friendswood. Friendswood, Texas, you know, another quite... Uh, 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 Tony, Tony Burb of, Tony of Houston. Burb of, of Houston. Of Houston yeah. So and uh, and we were uh, as we were going there to look for a particular thing that we'll be reviewing later. We ran across a guy who says, "Oh, you definitely need to try this new craft beer from Shiner." And uh, with that, I was highly suspicious. <laughs> it was Shiner Strawberry Blonde, and if it was not for the fact that they made the ruby red with pecans and uh, grapefruit. grapefruit. I would be very doubtful of this, but this guy was, sounded like he knew what he was talking about. He was like, first I need to taste the beer, then I need to taste the, the, the spice, the fruit, the right. whatever they add to right. it. Right, and he said that this fulfilled all that. He said it was quite good, so we took him up on the challenge. So no, I've got a I've got a couple of openers here, and one of them is from Widmar. Widmer, I got nothing on that, but this one says Sparky's Triple Play, Kalalakia or Kalalakiu, Hawaii, and and Glenn came up with this one for me somehow. Apparently, he's consumed alcohol over there in our fiftieth state. Yeah, went to one bar when I was in Hawaii. It was called Sparky's. Imagine that. Anyway, so, we're going to try this stuff out. Tell us about it. Well, uh, they are doing a craft brew series, and it's called Brewer's Pride. And we've had Brewer's Pride, and they have a very nice beer in the family reunions called Brewer's Pride, one of my favorites that they do. And uh, apparently they're going through a series of interesting beers called Brewer's Pride, and this is the seventh in that series. We may be out of order, but we find them where we find them and when we find them. Indeed. So, uh, I, I, I'm looking here at the bottle, and right here staring in front of me, it says, made with real strawberries from Poteet, Texas. Which, Strawberry capital of Texas. There you go. All right, here we go. I'm going in. It's, uh... Pretty like, fun. It's a pale ale. Yeah, kind of looks like a regular lager. It's a pale ale. It's a pale ale. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you. All right. You got to read deeper. It's on the back. But. I'm sure it is. Okay. Kind of a kind of put up a little head on there, but um, that's all right. Every drop of shiner is brewed in shiner. It says so. There you go. We've been there and. Uh, We've seen it brewed. What do you think? Huh. Pretty interesting. Yeah, well, I bet Sally will like it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 fine. It's kind of like the way I felt about the um, the Ruby Redbird. You know, it was good. I like it. It's very refreshing. This is very refreshing. However, you know, it's just a little bit more than I'd want to be drinking several of, I think. And you might know by now that we usually drink several. Yep. Well, I'm going to give it a thumbs up, but I'm only going to give it a thumbs up as maybe something that you could do one this size at the end of a golf game and sort of wake yourself back up. It's pale ale, but uh, fruit and beer just doesn't seem right to me. Mm, yeah, I mean, it doesn't. I, I'm not I'm not necessarily a big fan, but I'm not, um, I mean, you know, I've, I've done the lime and the Coronas and the, and I've done the uh, oranges and the blue moons and stuff, but, uh, but this is, this is okay. This is a, a mix of pale and wheat malts provide a crisp 
finish giving you a truly refreshing brew. Uh, truly it is. It is refreshing. Yeah, be, 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 I'm just not going to drink a lot of it at one time. This is about all I will buy. Uh, I might buy another one of those. Big old bottle like that. How much is that? Is that 16 ounces? Uh, I'll say somewhere over there. One pint, eight fluid ounces, so a pint and a half. Oh, that's very nice. So, yep. good sized beer. It was smoking cold. We liked it. Uh, wasn't our favorite. But if it's from Shiner, we're going to try it. Yep, I'm we just, love those people. I'm looking here for a little uh, APV. Don't see anything right offhand. I'm sure it's there somewhere, but I've gone blind. Anyway, I'm sure it's right around the same nature as all their other Shiner beers. Anyway, uh, it's good. Ought to dry it. Ought to buy it. Ought to try it. Well, at least you don't have to buy a whole six. Mm. Down the road. Down the road. Mm.